Hi, welcome to L1 Oro. This is 2700 RC. I'm gonna replace today from uh, brake pad and rotor. First of all, we need to take the tire off. Place put the jack and jack stand. There's a jack stone right there. Well, let me open now the tire. I'm gonna take two 14 millimeter ball, one in here, one on the bottom right there. After you open this two ball, simply just pry from here and the whole thing is come out like so and with something like with the bungee cord or something just hang like this like this just hang those this. They just take the brake pair off like this see this brake pad on the other side it's totally gone never wait for this you see this uh, this is like uh, this is the metal is you see everything is gone all ceramic is gone then after I hit the metal that's why the rotor wanna see the rotor look the rotor how it is yeah never wait for that so then I'm gonna open this this is a 19 millimeter one bolt for the caliper bracket one here and one is right there underneath so two ball i'm gonna take it off if you have a <coughs> gun like any kind of gun heavy gun to take this this ball off it's a little tight uh breaker ball i mean the bracket ball and this one too so the way you can do is you can when you take two wheel off the ground I keep pull all the way up then you can move this wheel anywhere you want so you can you can use the gun look see okay. so take the two wheel off the ground then use the gun like this take this off or you can hammer it with the with the 19 millimeter and simply you can take the bracket off and then there's the rotor this Honda have a screw right there one screw here I think one is broke look like so we're gonna take we have to use proper screwdriver to open this let me show you how it is you see the on the screwdriver said this is the one is perfect size i mean this one see this one a little different shape right here then the other one you see this 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 one the this is the one we need to use see this it's perfect before that just heat uh, put something in here and hit with the hammer like this so make it a little loose first sometimes it don't want to open so heat it up after you take this screw just give it a couple taps with the hammer it come out see it came out after that push on the new rotor put some brake clean if you have it on top of it like this it up like so so I'm gonna put one of those one of the lug nut to keep it straight like this so it's easy to put the brake pad put it back this bracket like so simply like this just put this in Tight these two ball 
one on the top, one on the bottom. So I'm gonna tie this two ball like here, one in this, one in here. One on the other side right here on the bottom, just tie it up. So make sure you tie this two ball very goodly. And this one too is tight. Now I'm this this is caliper guide pin. See this? This one I'm gonna put a little bit of lower pin in here. Uh, silicone and one in the bottom as well right here. So take both of this out. And if you don't have a lower cane, just put a little bit of lower cane. I'm going to put the silicone past. This is better. You have it. This is kind of white color. Usually the manufacturer, they use this stuff. Because this is, this is don't dry like, like a grease. And grease will eat this rubber. This one is done. So that's why the manufacturer use this. Working and let me do the bar in here. See this? So, if you have confused, like take one by one, like take this off and match it up with the new one. This, see, this one and the new one has the same rotation. See this? This thing, see this. So sometimes when you put the seam, sometimes it's touching the rora, just something like this. And top and the bottom, see, maybe somewhere the rora touching the seam. Sometimes that's why you hear the noise. Just simply push the brake pair in, just like so, like this. And just simply just push it in, see it's easily. Then we have to press this piston this piston we have to push it inside to put in here in the room. after that just with the tool press this piston if you don't have a tool you can use one of these just press it just push the piston with the tool so this whatever you have with that then put it in like this and tie two 14 millimeter bolts and that's all guys thank you if you like the video please like and subscribe